I'm a conservative. I value things like civilization, family, and tradition. Why should I be anti-war? You should be anti-war because war corrodes those very things. It, it corrodes those very things uh, uh, in a variety of ways. I mean, one way to think about it in terms of you value family and, and traditional values. Well, what is think about, you know, the, the go. Let's go back to the sports displays. What's one of the main sports displays, which you touched upon a moment ago? reuniting family members so we'll have you know it it it, it, it tugs at the heartstrings you have a, a a father or a mother who hasn't seen their newborn since they were a newborn uh or sometimes hasn't seen them at all or they haven't seen their young child well we celebrate that but there's an easy way to overcome that which is don't send them to war in the first place uh so you can easily make the argument that even in the best case when the soldier comes home they're not killed you still have taken them away from their family during the most formative years of children's lives. Then, of course, if they're killed or damaged in some way, which presents, prevents them from being a effective parent, you've damaged families. And of course, we shouldn't forget spouses either who have to live without their spouse who's away and oftentimes killed. So you can make the argument these things erode families. Then, of course, you also have things like post-traumatic stress disorder, and all the other things, the kind of overlooked costs of sending people to war, the long and variable costs, health issues, all of these things erode the ability of people to be effective members of their communities, effective members of society, and their families. And to the extent those traditional values matter, you should be concerned about that. And then, of course, to the, ex to, to the extent that other values, it depends what values we include, but if we have traditional values like you know, respect for individual rights, respect for human liberty, uh, for human liberty, limited government. War is at odds with all of these things. That is what the historical record shows, that, that war undermines those most cherished values. And so to the extent you con con are concerned with conserving those values, uh, the, the military and, and imperial instruments should be wielded uh, with great caution.